have sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. I got a fun video with the Vampire 2. I really, really mean to destroy with a Kraken video. Spoiler alert. But before we begin, like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the support and the subscribers to get the channel where it is. Love building the community, making a great time, and learning something at the same time. I can't thank you guys enough. At 4,000 subs, we're going to do another premium DD or a premium giveaway, that is. We'll, we'll open it up to other things besides a destroyer. So let's talk about the Vampire 2. In the game, Vampire 2 is one of the quintuple torpedo launchers to Daring's 2. It only has one. And no repair part of consumable but improves on daring in most other regards. Vampire 2 has higher main battery damage output, longer range torpedoes, better consumption, and access to a 5-kilometer hydroacoustic search and crawling smoke generator. Players need to be careful with Vampire 2 using her impressive features and consumables to control the engagement. She punishes mistakes and is punished before her own mistakes. In turn, by contrast, daring with her short cooldown smoke screens and repair party can compensate for those mistakes. So, the, the, the Vampire 2 is... Similar to a daring, great great accelerations, got the same kind of style hull, everything like a daring. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the heels that I like about the daring. The AP is great, good AP angles and everything. It's got the um, kind of crawling smoke, so you, at quarter speed, you have to uh, keep that consistent speed while in that smoke, so you're moving along in a smoke screen. It's got an engine boost, great, but it's got the five kilometer hydro, but you don't want to sacrifice your health just to move in. So right now I've got RPF um, built on this uh, Vampire 2. It tells me kind of the direction to point the guns and aim at. So I know that there's going to be an engagement coming up soon, and I like the concealment 5.8, very, very good. So it's gonna kind of got that first look, first kill opportunity. So let's see what is in front of us right here. Notice I've got AP loaded because I want to make maximum damage with that because the, um, the notice the HE shells don't pin uh, anything greater than 19 mil, so we got to be careful about that. I've always started to play with a uh, AP first. Right, you can see right here, AP does a massive amount of damage. So we got the AP going. We got our Hydro up, so as long as he's within 5 kilometers, we're going to basically just spot him the whole time, and we're going to probably get this kill, and boom, splash one. There goes our first kill, first blood, and then we got the first kill right there out of the bat. Now we have to dodge all these torpedoes torpedoes my god um i'm very bad at this by the way ladies and gentlemen so just i'm i am literally the worst at dodging torpedoes i seem to hit every single one of them you can see right there and i don't have a damage con so very very bad on my part now we got to survive on just 4,000 hp here now i've got the other destroyer the hayate and i'll do a review about the hayate later but right now he's turning in now his mistake is he's actually driving into five kilometer range of a, a vampire 2 with hydro up now assuming you don't know if the vampire 2 is running hydro i wouldn't drive into a vampire 2 i was would run away so a mistake on this part right now we got he selector here rather than ap just to get as much damage uh, based on angles and everything we can get as much now the vampire 2 you can see reload rate is incredible especially adrenaline rush kick in you get about 1.5 second reload right here and literally just melts away the hayate and he can't do anything about it and that is how the cookie crumble splash too and that's how we get our second kill right there and so again that mistake was punished but again i got punished for hitting a torpedo and uh, i don't have any heals so i can't really do anything about this and so i have to be um very very conservative and play very very carefully and not get mistake uh, make another mistake as well again now we're gonna see if we can punish this hindenburg now shimikaze gives it gives us a wonderful smoke screen i love it when players actually pay attention to their surroundings situational awareness and actually care for other teammates putting that smoke screen out knowing that i am a dd gunboat and i'm basically gonna put down the hate and make it rain from downtown and you can see the reload rate on the Vampire 2 much, much better and much faster than the Daring. Uh, even though despite not having heals, you are spitting out hate and literally just melting away everything to the point where the Hindenburg literally is so desperate that he would rather fire into the smoke screen, blind firing, and not shoot anybody else. So literally, um, I am a bigger threat to him. And that's a, your role as a good destroyer player is to be a bigger, bigger threat so the other players are sacrificing their shots to shoot at nothing. And there goes Splash 3. We take out that third kill. Now here, here's a good example of why I like the good acceleration of the Daring class style destroyers look at that boom right off um, to 30 knots right like that and that is exactly how we ad um, avoid getting torped by those slow torpedoes if they were hauling torpedoes a little faster going 90 knots we would probably have a, a, a bad day right there now we're going to see if we can uh, take on this des moines now a good destroyer player is going to hold the fire until you have a good opportunity to take advantage of and right now i'm outside of 10 kilometers of his radar range so i know that if i fire and um uh, I get spotted or in smoke. He won't detect me. So I'm going to go ahead and pop smoke right here. And then we're detected by airplanes. Of course, it's bad. But don't worry. Our smoke is in the... Uh 
in our within our range. We're crawling here at the quarter speed, and if we need to, and he's firing at us. Look at that. Des Moines was willing to fire blindly, and he is not shooting anybody else. That's so weird that he is not going to shoot the Shimakaze. He's not going to shoot any of the enemies. He's literally shooting us, and that's exactly why we want to have him waste our shots right there and get splash four right there, and that's exactly how we do that. So we draw fire. We're capping. We're spotting. We're torping. We're spotting other DDs. We're finding other DDs. We're killing DDs. We're doing every single thing a good destroyer player should be doing, and we're taking the fight to the enemy, and we're also capping and taking the objective. Now, our RPF is showing the Lucian, I believe, the last destroyer, and everybody's pinging in that direction. Yep, that is probably where we're going to head right now, so we got to be very careful. We don't want to waste our health. I think it's almost a full health Lucian. And we got our crawling smoke. That's the downside, as you can see the smoke moving uh, if you're not detected. And you just see in this wall of smoke moving, you can definitely know where any of these guys with the crawling smoke are going. So it's a bad thing right there. That's a downside. But we're going to slow back down to a crawl, get to core speed, and we're going to open fire right here on the Lucian. And let's see if we can secure this Kraken. And obviously, spoiler, we do get it. So we're going to just melt this guy as much as possible. His health not going to help us. And he's got the 5.5 kilometer hydro we're then detected. But he is distracted by Shimakaze doing a great job right there. And we definitely secure this last go. And boom, win the game as well. Splash 5. And that's the Kraken. And that's how you do that. And I wasn't really anticipating getting on this. I was just playing lazily, following the Shimakaze. And I was just snagging kills left and right. But anyways, that's the Vampire 2 in a quick battle right there. Pretty, pretty fun pretty awesome love the ap love the he the crawling is kind of a, a you know a little bonus there but i don't like just sitting and smoking farming all the time i like to be on the move and like to shoot number one in team right there as always hope you guys enjoy the replay like uh, subscribe bell button below appreciate all the support build will be at the end of the video and as always if you guys see me out there say hi and i'll uh, be looking forward to playing with you guys as always take care be safe and we'll see you soon cheers